What's up guys? I hope you guys are having a great day. Today's video I'm going to share a crazy drone story on how I found my drone after 2 months. I know many of you guys are watching this video might have lost their drone recently and you guys might be sad or tensed. But trust me guys, I feel you all I've been there and in this video I'm going to share some valuable info which might help you guys to track down your drone. So stay tuned till the end. The date was 4th of Feb 2024. I was exploring Honnavar. I had been to a Jain temple called as Chaturmukha Basadi Temple, which is in Ghar Soppa. It is 33 kilometers away from Honnavar. I am going to show you guys in the Honnavar vlog, which is going to come next. After visiting the temple, I was heading back to Honnavar for the boat ride, and in between, I was trying to take few car chase shots. These are few cash footages from my RC. Everything was going smooth, but in between, I lost the signal. I don't know how. There was. a gear super dam nearby so i guess there must be few jammers i don't know how but the signal was very weak now dji has a very cool feature which is very useful but in my case it was totally not that wherever you lose signal the aircraft will return to its home point now i know we can change the home point anytime but in my case my controller was not connected to the aircraft and i was 3 kilometers away from the home point that's not the worst part some of you guys might be thinking Now I know where the drone will land. I can come close to the drone so that my controller will get connected to the aircraft and I can easily retrieve it. But that's not what happened. Now let's take a break from my story and come to the people who are stuck in this situation where their drone has returned to its home point or it has crashed somewhere else but it is still connected to its RC. Not always the return to home feature is accurate. It might land anywhere under 100 to 200 meters radar and if you are sure that it has landed somewhere close by and you are not able to find it go to profiles find my drone start flashing and beeping it will sound something like this second thing is if you can't hear it and you can't find the exact location same thing go to the profile find my drone and note down this coordinates that's the exact location of your aircraft when it was last connected to your rc paste the coordinates in the google maps and then it will lead you to your aircraft try this method and let me know if any of you guys have found your drone now coming back to my story as the drone was flying back to the home point the battery got exhausted but the best part is while i was driving back to the home point my rc got connected to the aircraft so i was trying very hard to avoid the forced landing but i had already taken two flights so the battery was about to die and was continuously showing pop ups that it has to force land but hear me out i'm very proud of what i did in this stressful situation as soon as i heard the continuous beeps i placed the gimbal down so that i can get a clear picture of the location where it is landing or at least get a rough picture about the location and also avoid any obstacles because it was forest area there were many trees so i did not wanted it to land on top of a tree now i reached to the point where i assumed the aircraft has landed noted down the coordinates went to the exact location i could not start flashing and beeping because the aircraft was dead i looked around and looked around searched inside the bushes on top of the trees saw the last recorded video for around 100 times to track the exact location but could not find it guys welcome to day 2 of search and rescue I still can't find the drone and this trees are very dense so we won't even know if it's stuck somewhere at the top The only option I thought was due to air the wind the trees will shake and at least it will fall and it will fall but no luck I guess it's gone By looking at the controller footage and the last point when the GPS was connected to the drone it shows here the location shows exactly here it's very open there's no obstacle for it to land i guess it might have landed on the road itself because i took off from the roof of the car from the top of the car so it will land exactly in the middle of the road and maybe someone has picked it up and they have left in this week today is the third time i'm coming here still no luck i guess i should just give up and move on but i can think of one last option i see a lot of bottles and papers here one i'm going to place it at the opposite side i'm not sure how much this is going to work but this is my last hope i'm going to place it here that was the last gps point shown on my 
controller and this is the home point so i'm gonna place one here and this one at the opposite side desperate things done at desperate times fingers crossed 8th march 2024 i received text from five different people asking whether i lost the drone in mudeshwar out of five one guy i guess is the cool dude in the group who has a better texting skills he was saying he bought the drone from olx but it did not fly i'll tell you later why it did not fly this is the best part then he was saying me he said of the story how we found this drone and i was trying to get to the root of it i also threatened him saying that my uncle is a cop and if you give me the name of the person who gave you this drone i can get my drone back and also i can return you the money but this guy was kind of smart he did not give any names he told that his friend picked the drone from chennai and he is from a village called karnool in andhra pradesh and straight away stopped texting after a week i got a text back asking whether i can buy the drone from him because that was the only option left he can't even fly the drone he can't sell the drone because unless and until you show a person that the drone is in working condition nobody will buy so that was the only option left to return the drone to the original pilot of that aircraft that's me then i was like okay let's close this deal face to face but he denied that's the moment i realized that these are few locals who found the drone and to return it they need some money or it might be few people who had come to gokarna or mudeshwar for a trip they found the drone and they took it back with them tried to fly it but they could not now the reason they could not fly the drone is because that aircraft was binded to my account and unless and until i unbind it no one else can fly it i'm damn sure in this one month before he contacted me he tried a lot of things to unbind it but he failed and that is why he texted me on instagram i don't know whether he saw those flyers on the street or he texted me by looking at my mail id the first name now people say there are some methods you should contact dji support or go to their service center but here in india dji officially does not sell their products so it is highly impossible in india i would say later i somehow gained his trust and asked him to courier the drone to me but in return he was asking for some money and yes it was from karnool so i sent him some amount i'm not going to say how much but he was happy with it i won't say it's a win win for me because during the time i lost the drone i had many projects and had already committed to them so i had bought a new drone and now i've got two drones this is the aircraft which is sent by looking at this there is not even a single scratch it means that the drone landed straight on the road it did not crash anywhere and that guy just picked it inside this there was 51 minutes battery i'm sure he did not know this and uh, he also sent the drone with the memory card especially by looking at the memory card i gave him some amount because it had footages from the past as well from my previous trips and that's very important i think i would have given him for reaching out as well i'm a good person that way that's it guys i hope you guys like this video if you did you know the drill like share subscribe and i'll see you guys on next one